please be conveyor, turntable, and stabilizer operation. Before attempting to operate the Cleesby conveyor, turntable, and stabilizers, make sure you have read the manuals and all safety decals and viewed the safety video. Once you have arrived at the job site and are ready to position your truck for loading roofing material to the rooftop, make sure there are no power lines in the path or way of the conveyor. Remember, it is against federal and state law to position the conveyor within 10 feet of a power line. Clear the area of any other obstacles such as trees or buildings that would be in the way of the conveyor. Park the truck in the most level position possible for safer operation of the conveyor. Block the truck wheels to avoid any movement or rolling. When the truck is in the desired position for unloading, set up a safety zone around the perimeter of the truck and conveyor. Make sure there is no one standing near or touching the truck or in the safety zone other than the operator before moving the conveyor. Lower the stabilizer legs until the truck rises slightly. Extend the stabilizers only enough to stabilize the truck. Do not raise the truck wheels off the ground. Unfasten the safety tie-down strap that is holding the conveyor down to the headboard of the truck. Make sure the safety zone is clear of all equipment and people. There are four controls which operate the conveyor and the turntable. They are the conveyor lift, the conveyor rotation, conveyor belt power, and the post raising and lowering. Slowly raise the conveyor from the headboard using the conveyor lift lever. Using the conveyor rotation lever, pull the lever out away from the control valve and while holding the lever, rotate the conveyor until it is properly positioned over the rooftop. Using the post raising and lowering lever, adjust the height of the post to a convenient loading height. With the conveyor support leg dropped and in place, lower the conveyor onto the rooftop. Using the conveyor belt safety on-off control at the roof end of the conveyor, start the conveyor belt and begin loading the conveyor with roofing material. When all material has been loaded onto the rooftop, shut the conveyor belt safety on-off control to the off position before leaving the rooftop. Before moving the conveyor back to the truck, check the safety zone to make sure it is clear from any objects or people. Raise the conveyor slightly and reposition the conveyor support leg. Slowly rotate and lower the conveyor into its traveling position over the cab of the truck. Elevate the post so the conveyor is parallel with the bed of the truck. Secure the conveyor down by using the tie-down strap. Raise the stabilizers up to their secured and locked position and remove items used to set up the safety zone. Your safety, as well as the safe operation of all Cleesby conveyor equipment, is very important. Following all written instructions and safety decals, as well as all procedures in this video, will help to create a safe and accident-free workplace.